Well, this could be considered a bad situation. If it wasn't modded. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of ore under lava. Hmm. Nice. Oh, diamonds! Diamonds! Pillar head. Pillar? Piston head. That's what I meant. What's up, people? I'm Zog with episode 3 of Mod Sauce. Now, as you see behind me, everything is moved. I wonder why. Alright, so how did you like that time lapse? I think it was awesome. I think it was really cool. Skelly? No skellies. You're not allowed. It's my new base. Negative. Get away. Stay away. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it was really cool. I used the colored stone bricks, white frequency. I got regular colored stone. And this is, you know, my elevator block. Which, you know, I thought these would be harder to get onto since they're only one block. But even if you're only a little bit on it, it still works. So it's really cool. And then I have the chiseled spruce wood, which is awesome. I, I think that adds a very, very nice touch. But I have my light block. I have a somewhat darker block. And then I have my colored block. It's kind of how I usually do things. I go for three colors, but they don't necessarily have to be colors since this is white. It's technically not a color. But, I think it looks awesome. I think it looks really cool. The overall design is really good. And the future expansion is going to be basically the exact same thing. And it's just going, you're going to be able to see inside the entire base if you go up high enough. You know, it's going to be visible, but not enterable. You won't be able to get in unless you use the elevator blocks, which uh, I'm probably going to have a, th a few of them throughout the base. And certain areas of the base are going to come above ground, you know, by design and necessity, really. If you think about the blood altar from Blood Magic, which I will be getting into, don't worry, I will be going down Blood Magic. That's probably one of the first things I'll do. But, yeah, I think overall it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's really good. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's nice. Next problem is the chests. I have so much stuff. 
It's all full. They're all absolutely full, and it's it's ridiculous. So what I need to do is I need to get the ME system up and running. I said no skeletons, man. Go away. I don't want spiders either. It is nighttime, though, isn't it? Nighttime. Go to sleep. Nope. No zombies allowed either. So, while I sleep, I need the ME system up and running. And for that, I need supplies. I need to go quarrying. Ooh. Die, man. Guess I already had that hat. You die, too. And you, too. All right, cool. So, I need supplies. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to go quarrying. Quarry. So, I can get the regular quarry, which, honestly, I don't like it. I hate it. I love the ender quarry, though. This thing is amazing. So, I need a regular diamond pickaxe. I can get that. That's not a huge problem. Bucket. Bucket. Eye of ender. Iron pickaxe. Another diamond, which means I need two of them since I need two of these. So, four buckets. You know, double the recipe, basically. Ender infused obsidian. I don't have all of the obsidian yet, but I do have the ender pearls because like I mentioned in the last episode, I am a little bit enchanted. I wanted to enchant everything, but it was way more expensive than I expected. The diamond gear is ridiculous. As I showed in the last episode, the sword alone, just to have two different enchants, was going to cost, you know, like 36 levels or something. This guy right here costed me 32 total. So... Darksteel is definitely easily to, easy to enchant, which is really awesome. So I got, uh, you know, I used all the dark steel that I found on my adventures. I crafted up a couple pieces of gear that have protection and unbreaking, but nothing too special. But this guy right here has looting three. Looting three is amazing because when you kill things, they drop more of their stuff, which means Endermen drop more pearls. Awesome. So I actually have a few stacks of those because I went on on a blood moon a couple other nights and just kind of found some random old endermen, killed them all, and got a bunch of pearls. So the pearls are not a problem at all. So these things, no problem. I can get those. Might take me a little bit of doing just for to get the obsidian, but that's about it. This guy, still not too hard. Quartz, you can get that pretty easy. More diamonds, which now I may not have enough diamonds. I might have to go finding some more diamonds is not good but burnt quartz that's not too difficult another ender infused obsidian really not all that bad ender infused obsidian sapling those things aren't a problem and these guys more ender infused obsidian you use a lot of it in this uh in the extra utilities ender quarry stuff it's kind of crazy how much you use but i have ender not a problem these guys these guys will be a little bit of a problem so I can get them just by with, you know, four pieces of gold, four enchanted books, and a bookshelf. One, two, three, four of them. And then I need two of these. So I need eight of these, which means you need, you know, holy crap, no. Let's just make eight bookshelves and fluid transpose all of our experience onto it. And hopefully we get eight of them because that's what we're going to work for. Work for? Work towards towards there we go anyway since my chests are already completely trashed i already got everything i needed for the fluid transposer so let's look up that thing here all right and we're gonna craft this guy up real quick which yeah okay so i need the machine frame basic I can just go down. There we go. So I do need the tin gear. I need the glass and I need some iron. That's not too difficult. Let's get the tin gear real quick. All right. Tin gear. And then glass was here. Am I doing this right? Or am I, do I have it reversed? That's right. Perfect. And then this guy goes in the middle with two pieces of glass. So I need two more copper gears. And one of the redstone reception coils. So let's get the reception coil. That's a shift click. Thank you. And two copper gears. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Perfect. Now we're going to put these in here. Just how it says. Two pieces of glass. Hopefully this glass works. And the bucket. Perfect. Now we have a fluid transposer. 
uh, we're just gonna put you on this side. Just for the time being, because that way you'll get energy and you'll work. Awesome. So, now I need to find a way to get experience into this. And I believe you can actually set it fill. Yep. So now I can get buckets of experience, which I'm not entirely sure how to do. I think I can get the open blocks tank, which is nearly invisible. But I think I can get this. Four obsidian, some glass panes. I can get the glass panes, no problem. I don't know if I have enough obsidian for it, though. Here I am, searching through my chest. This is what I wanted to avoid. Oh, I can get two of them. And then I need some iron for... A drain is what I'm looking for. All right, well, let's do... Let's get the glass panes real quick. 16 of those. I can't make a whole lot of these anyway. I can only make two, one of them, actually. But it gives me two tanks, so that's good. And I need the drain, which I think... Is this, is it circle? Nope, that, yes, perfect. Okay, so now I can just kind of plop these down somewhere, put the drain on, and hopefully, there it goes. So now I'll drain my experience into here, but I don't think I'm gonna have a whole bucket. Well, actually, yeah, I do have a few buckets worth in each tank too, so that's perfect. Let me get a, I already made one bucket. Let's just make another bucket. I'm sure I'll have a use for it eventually. So let's see if this actually works. Perfect. So then I can take it here, drop that in, and it should fill up the tank. Good deal. So this is going to take me a little while, and obviously I, now I just need to make the bookcases, which I'm just going to do real quick. And uh, all I got to do when I get the bookcases is put them in here, flip this to the other direction so the liquid actually goes onto the bookcases, and it will give me the magical wood thing that I need. <laughs> which I'll show you again once uh, once I actually get everything together. But let me do continue to do this, and uh, I'll see you back in just a second. Nope, nope, not that, not that. Okay, Switch. lots of things, lots of things. So I went, uh, I went and collected a whole bunch of stuff, a bunch of obsidian. I went and found some more diamonds. I already made an, the extra diamond pickaxe that I need for this ender quarry, and I'm also gonna get a couple of the upgrades as well. The world hole, because I like to see where I've quarried already. I don't like to keep track on my own, so I want it to dig that really big hole. And silk touch, because, well, it's silk touch. It's always good. Which I already have the golden pickaxe with silk touch one. I have everything I need for the ender quarry, the world hole upgrade, and the silk touch upgrade. So we're going to make those, but I also need power, which I'm going to use the wind turbines... These guys, I've already showed you how to make them. I'm going to be using the conduit, the middle one, the enhanced energy conduit, which requires energetic alloy, which I have to use an alloy smelter, so I'm going to make one of those. Alloy smelt. I spelled it wrong. Look at that. The first letter. I got the first letter wrong. What's wrong with me? Alloy smelter is really not all that difficult. You have some iron, some a basic capacitor. Basically, not difficult at all. So I'm going to go ahead and craft up one of those, and I'm going to make a few of these. Three of these gives me eight of them, and that's really all I'm going to need for the moment. So I'm going to be using this because that transfers 5,000. The other one that I can get at the moment does a max of 800. So I want the more power just for expansion later and... I can even upgrade to the higher conduit later. That does 20,000. This one does five. This is what I'm getting. That one does 20,000 whenever I get enough supplies for it. And then after that, I have the power, but I also need the storage, which means I need some transfer stuff. I need a transfer node for items, which I'm going to craft this up. This is pretty simple as well, but I need these energy pipes, which you can use the transfer pipes here in this top slot. So I'm going to be doing that, which is also very cheap for eight of them. So that's not going to be the problem. I have the wood for regular chests. I have the iron to make them iron chests. But the other thing I'm going to use are deep storage units for some of the higher stuff. Since I'm using silk touch, stone's going to go in here. Coal will go in here. Um, 
gravel will probably go in here. Maybe something else. I don't know. I might switch them around depending on how many I get. Uh, and hopefully I don't run out of space. But eventually, you know, once this quarry is just a little bit through its process, because it won't be moving fast. I don't have enough power. I'm only going to be making a few windmills probably. But once it starts going, I'll be able to take some of the supplies from that quarry and actually get some good stuff from it. And I'll be able to upgrade things and hopefully get my ME system pretty, pretty soon. So the first thing we want to make is this guy. We need a bunch of this ender infused obsidian. That actually worked this time. That's amazing. So we're just going to go ahead and make all of that. Because we can. We already have the sapling, which means we already have these. So now we need these guys. Eye of Ender, Ender Infused Obsidian, Magical Wood. We've got both of those. So now we have that. So we need this guy right here. We need Burnt Quartz, Ender Infused, Diamonds. Already, we only need one. Be careful about that. We don't want to accidentally make both of them and waste some of the supplies that we need. So now we need these guys, which I did actually go ahead and I got a couple tanks for this stuff. Where? Oh, I put away my bucket. Really? I was hoping not to leave the, the crafting table. I didn't leave. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I did. I need two buckets. Where's my... I, I have another bucket around here somewhere. Let's just do it easy way. Make another one. So we're going to jump down in here, make our other bucket. One of this and one of this. And what happened? Oh, whoa, it was invisible. Did you see that? Watch for it. That was weird. Anyway, so now we need to make this. So we need four of those. Uh, diamond, one water bucket, one lava bucket, eye of ender, and an iron pickaxe. See if it puts it in there. It did not put it in there. Wonderful. That's because of these things, I believe. But we need... Where are you? One, two, three, four. Uh, what was this recipe again? Because I don't remember. I and then diamond. Okay. So we got the diamond and an I. And basically we need to double this one. Which I should have thought about when I was putting them all up in here. But, you know, hey. So we got one. And then we put the other of those and then one and one okay there's that oh if this if it ever does this to you you can actually break it and put it on top and it will condense down into one and then there will be enough in there for you to take a bucket so we'll go ahead and put our bucket and lava back in here grab that other guy then we have two of those we should have everything we need for this so we drop this in here Get the endothermic, endothermic, this right in the middle, these two, the, that's not it. Ooh, try to remember, try to remember sapling. And, oh, these. Darn it. I almost remembered, but I didn't. So now we have the ender quarry. So now we're going to do the world hole, which is pretty simple. We just need a burnt quartz with four more. Give me one of you. And I didn't make enough. I need one more ender pearl. That's what I didn't grab. There's another one. Actually, where are they? Here? Or here? There we go. Now we got one more. Those chests are so disorganized. Really need to fix that, but hey, what are you going to do? I don't have my Hemi system working yet. So, there's the first upgrade base. Let's go ahead and make the world whole. There it is. I had the trash can and the blocks of quartz, so that's a done deal. And then we're going to make the silk touch. We need the golden pickaxe with silk touch, two pieces of redstone, and the upgrade base, which I need to make another one of. So we're going to do that. Two pieces of redstone and the, that. So now we have these. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cut and I'm going to make all of the other things that I told you I needed before I could get started with this ender quarry. And... Oh, I also forgot one. I need the uh, ender quarry markers. Ender, what is it? Hyphen? Ender marker? Yeah, I need this, which means I need to make a QED as well. And then I need a couple more of these, which I think I have some spare, but I don't know if I have enough. But I need three of these guys, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more farming. 
but I'm just going to go ahead and make all of this stuff and set it up and when I bring you back we're going to be over at in the mining dimension another thing that I need to make why did I type in mining dimension down there I just need mining so I need the mining multi-tool which is very easy just stone bricks or stone I think it might have to be stone brick some form of stone brick uh, stone pickaxe a stick flint and steel that's not difficult and then to make the actual bricks that you need uh, I don't remember what they're called they're blue I remember that hmm let's see if the mod will load this actually these the portal frames okay and it worked perfect so basically you just need to use the mining multi-tool on the some form of stone bricks and I need to do that 14 times for the full portal light it and yeah there's a lot of things that I need to do on my own but it, most of it's just crafting stuff I just have to go collect some recipes and craft and uh, I really want to get this quarry up and running in this episode so I'm just gonna go ahead and craft it all if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or whatever and I can go through it slower next episode or something but I have a feeling there's not gonna be too many of questions about it so let me get going on this and I'll bring it back as soon as I get back to uh, the quarry situation not raining raining am I under this is that what it is I'm shielded by the slime island thing is that what it is that must be what it is that looks like what it is cool I saw this earlier actually during the time lapse and I was like what is going on and then I looked at my other screen with you know my camera guy he was recording he didn't see it so I was like I'm just gonna ignore it and keep going but I didn't think to look up anyway you see the mining dimension portal done deal so I am crappy <laughs> look at this I have one wind turbine how horrible is that I don't need you you wanna, you wanna, uh? Yep, there we go. I have one wind turbine. You wanna see how slow this thing is going? It's ridiculous. I really should have started this a lot earlier. So this is the corner. I actually did a very, very small one just so I knew that I didn't run out of room with my chests. But this is ridiculously slow. Okay. Sweet. Oh, got some coal. Another stone. And a stone. Whoa. I was going to take a second before it gets that one. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, <laughs> this, this is going to take a very, very long time. But basically, all I'm going to do, the reason I only have one is because I knew that I just had to get it running. I'm done mining. I don't want to mine anymore. I would rather just kind of sit here, watch videos, wait for stuff to populate the chest. I already have some stone, getting some dirt, getting some grass, which I don't want in here. You need to go somewhere else. Gravel. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably move that, but for now, that's fine. But this is just iron. Sweet. I needed some iron. Do I have any osmium? Osmium. Awesome. I just need some more iron. But basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to check back every now and then, take up all the iron and all the osmium for some more wind turbines. Because I ran out. I have none left. <laughs> I have like two. No, I have four iron and it requires five. And I have like 10 osmium already, so I didn't really even need this. I just need the iron. Now, this is going to give me four because of the pulverizer. It duplicates ores, basically. You get four out of two kind of a thing, which is awesome because I can get one more. And it'll double the speed. But, yeah. <laughs> this is going to take a very long time. But basically, ooh, somebody's getting hurt. Sweet. Suffocate. Die. Perfect. Ow, and you're you can still shoot me? Not anymore. Oh, somebody else can. You can. Hey. Nope. Nope. Okay, there we go. Kill your spirit too. Come here. Maybe I won't kill your spirit. Oh, 
I'm not flying. I thought I was flying. There we go. Ha. You're mine forever. All right. Anyway. So, I'm... Oh. This is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe that I let myself dwindle in resources so low. Look, look, look at these chests. I thought I was good. I thought I was good to go. And I just saw... Okay, that was box sack. Never mind. I thought I was fine. But I'm not. I didn't have any iron or osmium. I was I was out of both. Well, almost out of both. I guess I did have a little bit of osmium. But I contemplated just taking this uh, this windmill, bringing it over there. But it is working. I was only going to do that if it didn't work at all. Which was a very real possibility. But it seems that it does work. So anyway, I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. And uh, <laughs> let this thing gather some resources. And in between episodes, I'm going to be doing that. So if you like the episode, please click that like button. I still have that piston piston thing there. I still got it. But if you like it, click the like button. It's going to help me out. Good stuff. If you want to see more, subscribe. Comment, favorite, share. Do what you do. Thanks for watching.